Well, hello everybody. It is Friday and it's 1.30. So, that means time for a contest. Now, as you see, my contest bag is getting getting pretty slim. So, I don't know what's left in there, but whatever's left, it's only got a couple more weeks to go. Now, I showed you that silver coin that my, uh, my very good friend gave me a couple of days ago. So, you know, I never like to uh, just throw a contest out there with trying, without uh, trying to show you something. And I've shown you this before, but a lot of people have joined since then uh, and probably didn't go back and look at my other, at my other uh, videos. So I'm going to do uh, a thing of uh, Ammonites and uh, show you some of the ones that uh, I have. And, and then we'll get into what the contest is. Contest is pretty simple this week, uh, and it's pretty. It'll be pretty much luck again. But let's uh, look at some ammonites first. Now, present day, if we were to, if we were to uh, go out and find something that was I'm almost self or so identical to the ammonites, it would be this chambered nautilus. And I've shown these before. Is an unbelievable specimen I got at the flea market for one dollar. I almost felt guilty. And this is what uh, an entire one would look like. Just a beautiful, I mean, just, just pure, pure perfection. And and how lucky I was that uh, I was there the day the guy was selling these because he wasn't really selling them. Had a buck a piece, he was giving them away. And this is very fragile stuff. How he got it there and treated it like he did without busting it all the hell is far beyond me. But this may have been in the water, who knows, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, a living creature would putt along like this. And it would have a, like a squid thing coming out of the shell part. And then here's what they looked like years and years ago. Here's the one, the recent one I got. You can see it has some nice size to it. And picture my hand up against it. And that's a Moroccan. And that's uh, probably 400 million years old. Uh, this is one that's a very similar age. And it has been cut in half to show you the, you know, the individual cells and how similar they are to these today. And then here's, here's another one that's uh, several hundred million years old. And it even can sh it even shows you the little valves between the between the sh between the uh, uh, various uh, chambers of this of this shell. Just just beautiful stuff. And then we have these, which are which are very related, very closely related. These things. Uh, along with the trilobites, we're almost uh, knocked extinct a couple of times in the three major extinctions we've had. Now this fellow, uh, this is German, but he could have been found uh, in Great Britain or in Germany. And the same, the same with, with this, this guy. And they find these huge ones of these. I mean, I mean, many times, many times bigger than this. They find them along the shore there, but they're very, very expensive. And that's another, another Moroccan one, and another European one. Now these, I think, these are all uh, pretty, high, pretty good quality, and I'm very, uh, very pleased to have them in my collection. And I'll uh, just give you uh, an idea. I may have, I don't know, 30 of these more besides here, but I didn't want to take up all the time. I did, I did truly want to get to work. Our contest, so we'll get to the contest now. Well, recently I had some bad luck with my truck and with my mother's car. Went to take my mother's car down to inspection, and it, after after uh, we went and had it tuned up, and it failed for exhaust. So then I went back and got it retuned and took it back down, and it failed again. Now uh, the third time we took it to a reinspection station and uh, had to pay to have it go through inspection but the problem was that in the old cars they when you run them uh when you first start them up there's a 
there's a problem with the with the exhaust because uh, the converter has to get to 700 degrees before it'll take care of the uh, uh, converting the CO to CO2. So uh, if they had run it wide open, which it, it cleared, it was running fine uh, as far as emissions went wide open first, and then went back and let it idle. It would have cleared. But anyway, uh, it got through. Uh, cost us cost us extra money, and luckily the guy that was taking it down to the reinspection station uh, is a real good friend of ours, and he owns a, a mechanic shop. And on the way back, the brakes went, <laughs> so he had he had to put a, a new brake line in, and that of course added to things too. And meanwhile, the whole week, my truck was uh, over at a friend of Mark's, who's. Uh, used to have a, be a mechanic and had uh, five or six guys work for him and uh, fell on hard times uh, and now he does some mechanic work out of his house while he works full time for the city of Novo. Uh, but what the, what the question is to, today is what was the total expense that I incurred for my mother's car and for my truck and uh, anybody gets within uh, within ten dollars of it they will get the old two ounce that's been sitting here waiting to take a trip somewhere and otherwise you'll know, get some from the grab bag and uh, everybody get their bids in because uh, I don't know we yeah, we ought to, we ought to force Simki and Pat and and Jared and Melon Masher, all the people that wait till the last, we ought to force force them to to bid the first day. But I want to make it fair for everybody. So uh, it'll probably be early Sunday morning. It depends on whether or not my friend's going to work the flea market. And with silver down forty cents today, around around uh, well, it's around twenty nine seventy eight now. Uh, we have no, I have no idea what silver's doing. Silver's going to be in this, I'm afraid, in this trading area for a long time, and uh, it uh, doesn't hurt my four-year horizon, but it sure doesn't do anybody else any good, because at this price, nobody wants to buy and nobody wants to sell. So just sitting there, and even the big boys are temporarily on the sidelines. All right, well, thanks, everybody, and get your get your bid in, and we'll uh, announce the winner, and unless I get another rant like the last one was, probably my rantiest <laughs> and if we're not in World War III by Sunday morning we'll announce the winner. Thank you very much.